These rims are moving, but not spinning, which is why they appear as straight lines in the motion blur. To correctly simulate this effect, we first need to perform an operation called rigging, to link the car's movement to the rotation of the wheels. Let's see how to do it. Select the car, isolate it, and use the touch button of Editable Poly to separate the four wheels, turning them into four separate objects. Now select the four wheels, open Corona's Pivot Placer tool, and set center on each axis. At this point, we have the car body separated from the four wheels, each as an independent element with a perfectly centered pivot. This setup is necessary for the free script we are about to use. Now, to animate the wheel rotation along with the car's movement, we need to do what's called rigging. To do this, download Vehicle Rigger, a free script available on ScriptSpot. It's been around for a few years, but it's simple and functional. You can find the link in the description. To install it, simply go to Scripting, Run Script, and execute the script you just downloaded. Now, to create a dedicated button, go to Customize, Customize User Interface, and inside Toolbar All Command, Select Vehicle Rigger. Create a new toolbar. And drag Vehicle Rigger into it. Now let's see how to rig the car. Run the script and start the setup. Select the front wheels and click the button Get the front wheels. Select the other wheels and click Get the rear wheels. Then click Pick body and select the car body. Finally, press Apply and the script will automatically read the entire car. This script can perform various actions, such as moving the wheels left or right using the central dummy. However, our goal here is to create a slow shutter speed shot, where we can appreciate the motion blur of the moving car with the spinning wheels. Here's how to do it. Select the largest dummy, which encloses the entire car, this will give us access to a modifier called Vehicle Control. All we need to do is modify the All Wheels value, setting it to 100, for example. The script will automatically animate the wheel rotation without needing to set the frames manually. Since at this moment it doesn't matter if the wheels are actually in contact with the ground, but only that they spin to achieve the motion blur effect, Let's increase all wheels value to 300. The last step is animating the forward movement of the entire car. Activate Auto Key. Move the time slider to frame 10. And move the car forward by about 3-4 meters using the main dummy. Deactivate Auto Key. Now, scrolling through frames 0 to 10, we'll see the car move forward while the wheels spin, just like in real life. Now, let's get back to the entire scene. Select a frame, I'll choose frame 3 for example, to capture the motion blur of both the car and the people animated in the previous video. And here's the result. Unlike before, when the wheel appeared still, we can now appreciate the motion blur of the car and the wheel spinning. This photographic style is known as low shutter speed photography, so if you want to enhance the effect, we can adjust the exposure time. 
if we change it from 1 60th to 1 20th, the effect becomes more pronounced. But Corona, designed to simplify things, has another option, motion blue duration. Increasing this value makes the effect more visible. We can even manipulate shutter behavior by enabling shutter curve. For example, if we create a curve with isolated peaks, we get a motion blur effect known in photography as ghosting. Resecting these values returns the effect to a uniform blur. But let's go back to the file. The people are all instances, which helps to keep the file light. But how to solve the problem when with no reasons we have identical objects that are no instances? Subscribe to my channel because I'll show you a solution with another script in the next video.